it is. So uh, it's been a little bit over two days now, two days and uh, four hours, I believe. As you can see here, the build is going pretty well. I was doing a uh, obliteration uh, yesterday, and I was struggling a little bit on 60%. You can see this is a uh, 80% tier 16. I was struggling on 60% with obliteration, and then I switched now just now to to bow the bow version. It's a lot better. I'm pretty much just blasting 80% now. <coughs> I'm getting about um, about eight divines per hour now. I get 60 decks per map, and they are 120 C. Each map is about 60 C. So 60 C profit per hour uh, per map, and I do about 15 maps per hour. So 900 chaos per per hour on diviners. I think the skittering is probably better. Uh, they are very expensive. I can't afford like a, a lot. Just buy a lot uh, at a time. So I'm doing diviners for now. I'm probably gonna be doing diviners until I get maybe 40 or 50 div, and I just buy everything in skittering, and then just switch over to skitterings. Uh, I'm gonna show the the, the the strategy here. I'm just get the. So if you don't know how this works, you just go for 4 or 5 or 3 I guess um, daily orbs. You can do diviners, map, fossil or skittering. Any of those four are good. And then the map can just be blue maps, easy map, you don't have to do like rare maps. And for the three, basically you just need reach, uh, some blocks, you need that. And that's all you really need. There's probably some good stuff. I haven't really looked too much into the, the tree yet. And also I don't have all the points. I'm only 118 right now. And I'm doing strands and I have one pool because I'm using this singular focus. And I'm gonna be doing that for another maybe like one day. I wanna buy a mirror, right? So if I do 10 divines per hour, it should be about 20 hours of farming for the mirror. So I should I should be getting either tomorrow or the day after. It'll be about three, maybe four days for the the mirror there. And then for the build, uh, I'm gonna go very quickly here over what I what I got. I bought this one for two divs. You and it was already. I did ex I exalted the dexterity and I got the unnerf, but. Uh, the rest was true div. I bought the belt for two. You need the suffix for the regen. This one I bought, I crafted for, I believe it was true as well. Is uh, Screaming of Torment. And then I had to get the, the implicit and the, the jewel for the. the. what is it called? Storm Shroud. And then ring was three, this one was two, two. Crafted this with awakener for two. It's just fossils, you fossil the the shaper and the warlord quiver. And then you awaken them. This one I got in five essences, it's very lucky. And uh, it's a very easy craft, it's about eight divines. And this one is okay. I didn't get the the life, but I can use the the life mastery. This is about six divine craft. You buy a six link power regalia, and then you use the the, the Ritania orb, and then you buy the the explosion, and you awaken them. And for the Veritania, you just use uh, bound fossils. And then jewels, you just need the prismatic heart here, not back here. And then I'm using some pretty decent medium clusters here. I got them with a uh, Scorch Fossil. It was about 30 fossils in total for all three. I was pretty lucky. So that's pretty much it for the build here. I haven't done the, <laughs> the flasks yet. I'll look into it later. And then the gems. I'm using level 3 yet, still for the, the Empower and the Enlighten. I'm gonna buy 4 later. I don't need the 4 for the Enlighten though. I can fit everything already. And uh, 
yeah that's pretty much it I think um, let me show the build again one sec yeah. as you can see it's pretty strong and then the next upgrade is pretty much just mage blood and then maybe we can push for 100% but it's almost the same as 80 it's just a little bit more profitable but 80 is good enough for like 10 maybe even 15 divines with the skittering farm alright maybe I'll make a, an update tomorrow if I get the meter we'll see alright see ya